Well, one of the nice things about baseball is that information is passed down from player to player and generation to generation. Have you ever given any thought to jumping in a car with a few buddies and checking out baseball stadiums around the United States? Well, the voice of Rockies Weekly, Chuck Woodford, has done just that. He checks in from Yankee Stadium. I'm having a very difficult time believing the fact that I'm actually at Yankee Stadium, the most hallowed of all hallowed baseball grounds. This is it. This is the house that Ruth built. In a few moments, we're going to take you out to the outfield. We're going to look at the legends. We're going to wander around, see some of the Yankee fans, see what makes them such hardcore Yankee fans, and see if the Yankees can actually repeat this year as World Series champions. Okay, so you guys lifelong Yankees fans? Oh, yes, definitely. Since 1951. Who's your favorite player back in 51? Mickey Mantle. Oh, this is from 1985. Uh, hat thing. <laughs> Here at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> Who's your favorite player on the team? Clemens. You know he used to play for the dreaded Boston Red Sox, don't you? Yeah, but not anymore. Okay, so we found a celebrity here. Who are you? I'm Mary Lou Bellinger. I'm Clay, Clay, Clay Bellinger's grandmother. Are you sure of that? Yes, I am. very. Because you didn't sound very confident there. I know. I'm so old, I forget what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm tingling. I know. Isn't it great? It's tingling. like the whole spine is like, oh my goodness, this is Yankee Stadium. I'm, I'm buzzed, man. I'm buzzed. This is, this is great. Okay, so what's funny is I've been walking around this stadium interviewing people. You guys have been following me all over the place. No, not all over the place. We only start over there and came over here. Yep. You want to be a Yankee fan, don't you? Yankee Stadium's a great, great place. Well, what What are some of the sights we should see around the ballpark? Monument Park would have been nice if you got here earlier. So they won't let us in? Uh, 45 minutes before the game, they shut it down. Crap. Well, that about wraps it up for us here at Yankee Stadium. We had an absolute blast. The Yankees beat the Indians 6-3. to Not, of course, that that matters. Now we move on to the city of brotherly love, the city of Rocky Balboa and Philly cheesesteaks, Philadelphia. You know, coming to the city of brotherly love from New York City is, can't help but be let down just a little bit. I mean, Philadelphia doesn't have seven and a half million people roaming around. It's not so hustle bustle as the city that never sleeps, but Philadelphia has redeemed itself in my eyes in one special way. It's given me something I've looked forward to for 23 years, a larger than life size statue of Rocky Balboa. Well, my Rocky Odyssey has come to an end. I've had an opportunity to see the statue of Rocky. These are his footprints right here. I had the chance to crawl like a little baby up the Art Museum steps, the ones that Rocky ran back in the mid-70s. And now it's on to the vet. We're going to see the Phillies take on the Pirates. And you'll get details of that next week, as well as our trip to Boston, Montreal, and Toronto. So for this week, City of Brotherly Love, this is Chuck Woodford for Rockies Weekly with Buddy Bell. Well, Chuck and his crew will visit a couple more stadiums before the road trip is over. They'll give us their final report next week.